Welcome to the Painting Appreciation Course. If you like my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. Welcome to our journey into the world of art. Today, we are diving into the fascinating realm of painting appreciation. Understanding a painting goes beyond just admiring its beauty. It's about delving into depths of creativity, history, and emotion. In this series, we'll explore the top 10 things to observe and appreciate in a painting. From color and composition, to the story behind the brushstrokes, we are going to uncover the layers that make each painting a unique masterpiece. Whether you are an art enthusiast or just curious, get ready to see paintings in a whole new light. Here are the top 10 things to observe and appreciate in a painting. We'll go through each one of them and we'll see various examples to illustrate these aspects. All the paintings in this video are generated using AI mid-journey. So let's begin. Let's explore the mesmerizing world of color and light in art. Color isn't just a visual element. It's a language that conveys emotions and sets the mood. Light, on the other hand, shapes our perception of the scene. In his painting Impressions Sunrise, Monet uses a sunrise palette to evoke a sense of fleeting moments, with light diffusing through the haze. His brushstrokes and color choices capture the essence of a moment rather than its details, creating an atmosphere over precision. Contrastingly, in Girl with a Pearl Earring painting, Vermeer showcases mastery in using light to create depth and realism. The way light dances on the girl's face and the luminous pearl earrings is a testament to his skill in manipulating light and shadow, bringing a sense of life and realism to the painting. Now let's delve into composition and balance. Key principles that instill harmony and structure in art. Composition refers to how elements are arranged, while balance determines their cohesive integration for visual stability. Leonardo da Vinci's approach exemplifies mastery in linear perspective, a technique that directs the viewer's gaze towards a focal point. His works often achieve balance through symmetrical arrangements, creating a sense of order and focus. This style is characterized by meticulous organization of subjects, guiding the eye with precision and intention. Vincent van Gogh, on the other hand, offers a stark contrast with his dynamic and emotive compositions. His style is marked by swirling skies and undulating landscapes, creating a sense of rhythm and movement. Van Gogh's balance is achieved not through symmetry, but through contrasting elements, like vibrant skies against calm villages. This creates an emotional depth, balancing turmoil with tranquility in his paintings. Moving on, let's explore the tactile world of texture and brushwork. These elements are not just about what we see but what we feel like we could touch. They bring a painting to life, adding depth and emotion. Gustav Klimt's artistic style is renowned for its decorative elegance and rich textures. He often employed a technique involving layered brushwork combined with luxurious materials like gold leaf. His approach creates a tactile quality in his works, making them appear almost touchable. This lavish use of texture and material contributes to a sensual and opulent visual experience, characteristic of Klimt's distinct style. In contrast, Jackson Pollock's style is a departure into the realm 
of abstract expressionism. His signature technique involves dripping and splattering paint, forming a complex and intricate web of textures on the canvas. This method results in a chaotic yet intentional brushwork that embodies spontaneity and raw emotion. Pollock's style invites viewers to experience a sense of freedom, an unbridled expression, contrasting sharply with the more structured and ornate approach of Klimt. Now let's delve into the intriguing aspects of symbolism and metaphor in art. These elements add layers of meaning, allowing us to interpret a painting in multiple ways. Salvador Dali's artistic style is emblematic of surrealism, characterized by its rich symbolism and dreamlike imagery. His work often challenged conventional perception of reality, using elements like melting clocks to symbolize the fluidity and relativity of time. Dali's style invites viewers into a world where the boundaries of logic and physics are blurred, offering a window into the subconscious. In a different vein, Sandro Botticelli's style is deeply rooted in the symbolism of mythology and Renaissance ideals. His approach to art is marked by the depiction of classical beauty, harmonious compositions, and spiritual themes. Botticelli's paintings often feature mythological figures, embodying ideals of beauty and love, and are reflective of the humanistic values of the Renaissance period. In this segment, we'll explore how historical and cultural context plays a pivotal role in understanding and appreciating paintings. This context provides a backdrop, enriching our comprehension of the artwork. Pablo Picasso's style, particularly evident in works like Guernica, is characterized by its bold and impactful approach. Known for his role in developing cubism, Picasso's art often features a monochromatic palette, chaotic compositions, and emotionally charged figures. His style is not just a visual statement, but also a political one, as seen in Guernica, which powerfully reacts to historical events and conveys the horrors of war. The emotional and political significance in his work is amplified when viewed in the context of the historical events that inspired them. In contrast, Grant Wood's style, as seen in works like American Gothic, captures the essence of rural American life in the early 20th century. His approach is often seen as a blend of satire and celebration of traditional American values, with a focus on depicting the everyday life of ordinary people. Wood's style is marked by a detailed and realistic portrayal of his subjects, often set against simplified backgrounds. This approach highlights the cultural and historical context of his time, making his work a significant part of American art history. Let's delve into the captivating elements of mood and atmosphere in paintings. These aspects are crucial in setting the tone and evoking emotions in the viewer. Edward Hopper's artistic style is notably characterized by its depiction of modern American life. Often infused with a sense of solitude and introspection, his paintings typically figure urban settings, isolated figures, and a stark contrast between interior and exterior spaces. Hopper's use of lighting, composition, and color palette skillfully captures moods of contemplation and urban alienation, making his works emblematic of the American experience in the 20th century. On the other hand, Caspar David Friedrich's style 
is deeply rooted in the Romantic era, emphasizing emotion, individualism, and the sublime in nature. His work often depicts lone figures amidst vast natural landscapes, creating a sense of awe and wonder. Frederick's use of perspective, along with elements like mist and dramatic lighting, lends a mysterious and captivating quality to his paintings. His style invites viewers to reflect on the relationship with nature and with the larger universe. The next aspect takes us into the fascinating world of the use of space and perspective. These elements are fundamental in creating a sense of depth and realism, or in some cases, surrealism in paintings. M. C. Escher's artistic style is renowned for its explorative and inventive use of space, perspective, and optical illusions. His works often defy the laws of physics and conventional perception, incorporating multiple perspectives and impossible architectural constructs. Escher's art challenges viewers to rethink their understanding of space and reality, offering a unique, almost puzzle-like visual experience. In contrast, Georges Surat's style is distinguished by his development and use of pointillism, a technique involving the application of small, distinct darts of color to form an image. This method results in vibrant scenes that play with light and shadow in a unique way. Surat's compositions are meticulously arranged, often depicting scenes of everyday life with a sense of harmony and balance. His style is characterized by a blend of scientific precision and artistic sensitivity, capturing the essence of 19th century Parisian life. In this part of our journey, we focus on narrative and storytelling, elements that transform paintings into visual stories. Each brushstroke and color choice can convey a story a moment or a message. Peter Bruegel, the elder's style, is characterized by its detailed portrayal of everyday life, often infused with elements of folklore and moral allegories. His paintings typically feature expansive landscapes populated with numerous figures engaging in various activities. Bruegel's subtle incorporation of mythical elements into these scenes as seen in works like the landscape with the fall of Icarus showcases his skill in blending the grandiose with the mundane. His approach to storytelling is nuanced, inviting viewers to explore deeper meanings within the context of ordinary life. In sharp contrast, Frida Kahlo's style is deeply personal and introspective often focusing on self-portraiture interwoven with symbolic and surreal elements. Her works are an exploration of her identity, heritage, and the experiences that shaped her life, including her physical and emotional pain. Carlo's use of vivid colors, symbolic imagery, and a blend of realism and surrealism creates a powerful narrative that is both intimate and universally resonant. Her art provides a candid, often raw insight into her personal struggles and resilience. Now let's celebrate the spirit of innovation and experimentation in the art world. Artists often break boundaries and challenge norms, leading to groundbreaking work. Kazimir Malevich's artistic style is a profound embodiment of suprematism, an avant-grade movement he pioneered, which focuses on fundamental geometric forms and stark abstraction. His work, characterized by the use of basic shapes like squares and circles, often devoid of any real-world references. It challenges the viewer's perception of art. 
Malevich's style is a bold departure from traditional artistic norms, pushing boundaries to explore the essence and limits of pure artistic expression. And Marcel Duchamp's style, particularly evident in works like Nude Descending a Staircase No. 2, showcases a unique blend of cubism and futurism. His approach is marked by the depiction of motion and dynamism using abstract forms. Duchamp's innovative style is provocative and intellectually stimulating, often challenging conventional views of art. His work is known for its complex layering of imagery and its ability to provoke thought and discussion about the nature of representation in art. Finally, we arrive at the heart of art appreciation, which is emotional connection and personal interpretation. Art is a deeply personal experience, and each viewer may connect with a painting in a unique way. Art evokes a spectrum of emotions, from joy and serenity to sadness and contemplation. Abstract art often leaves much to interpretation, allowing viewers to project their feelings and experiences onto the canvas. Modern art challenges viewers to see the world through different lenses, often evoking strong reactions. Classical works, with their rich narratives and historical contexts, connect with viewers on different levels. Some may find beauty in the technical mastery, while others may be moved by the stories and emotions these paintings convey. In the end, the true beauty of art lies in its ability to touch us in myriad of ways. Each painting is a conversation, a moment of connection between the artist's vision and our personal experiences. As we conclude our exploration of painting appreciation, Let's reflect on the key aspects that enhance our understanding and enjoyment of art. We have journeyed through various elements, from the use of color and light, composition and balance, to the deeper realms of symbolism, historical context, and emotional connection. Remember, appreciating art is not just about understanding these elements, but about letting them speak to you allowing you to see beyond the canvas. Art is a dialogue, a shared experience between the creator and the observer. We hope this series inspires you to explore more art, engage with it deeply, and find your own connections and interpretations. Thank you for joining us on this artistic journey. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.